ओके मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हवर आई होप यू आर फाइन एंड सेफ फ्रॉम दिस कोविड सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक द नेक्स्ट वीडियो दैट मीन्स वीडियो नंबर टेन डे टेन right so do day 10 video number 10 and the subject is english so far we have completed five parts of speech five parts of speech the first one noun we have completed second one pronoun we have completed third one verb over Fourth one, adjective over, and fifth one, adverb is also. This five, this five parts of speech has been have been completed. Have been completed so far. So today we are going to learn the sixth part of speech, that is the preposition. The sixth one. The sixth one preposition. Yeah, preposition. Preposition is a word. See, first we'll see the definition, the meaning of a preposition. See, pre means p r e pre means before and position means placement, right? Preposition means here yeah, the word which is used before or place before noun or pronoun. We we'll see the definition faster, right? It's a word. It's a word that is used that is used before a noun. Or a pronoun. See, it is one of the eight parts of speeches, and that is that means yeah, a preposition is used before, just before is placed before either a noun or a pronoun to show to show its relation. to show its relation to some other words in a sentence see to show its relation to some other words in the sentence in the sentence right See what kind of relation means here? The relation between sometimes. See that means it shows the relation between noun and noun, or noun and pronoun. Between noun and noun. Or noun and pronoun, or vice versa. Vice versa means between pronoun and noun, a verb and noun, a verb and noun, or vice versa. That means between a noun and a verb. 
an adjective and a noun or an adjective and a pronoun so here yeah. so the preposition means prep means before position means placement it is a word that is used just before either noun or pronoun to show its relation its principal prepositions relation to some other words in the sentence i let you clearly understand by these three sentences so no doubt is that past sentences exam past sentences there is no sugar there is no sugar in the pot sentence 2 he is coming by he is coming by plane aeroplane third sentence around is very intelligent boy yes no no ram is very angry with me angry with me once look at the sentences and observe these three sentences first sentence there is no sugar in the pot here in is a preposition i'll tell you how In the second sentence by is a preposition in third sentence with is a preposition see the first sentence here sugar is a noun there is no sugar in the pot and the pot is also a noun that means the preposition in shows the relation between a noun and a pronoun right and look at this one second sentence here coming is a verb plane is a noun here the preposition by shows the relation between the verb coming and the noun aeroplane in the third sentence ramu is and me see and we is an adjective and we is an adjective me is a pronoun personal pronoun so here in the sentence the third sentence the preposition with shows the relation between the adjective and we and the pronoun me here see preposition is one of the eight kinds of parts of speech is that is used mostly before the noun either noun or pronoun to show its relation with some other words in a sentence other words means here uh, see a noun and noun noun and pronoun or pronoun and noun verb and adjective adjective and verb adjective and noun adjective and pronoun see vice versa you understand so this is uh, a preposition means here no doubt this one and one more thing look at one more sentence i'll tell you many times this sentence there is a book or there is a cat on the wall 
on the wall. Look at this sentence. There is a cap on the wall. See, the verb on on is a preposition. It shows the relation between the noun cat and the wall. Of course, the noun, the wall. And without a preposition. You see in a sentence, in the absence of preposition or without preposition, the sentence can be meaningless. There is no meaning for the sentence. Once, see, uh, skipping this word, skipping the word on, just read the sentence. There is a cat, the wall. There is a cat, the ball. Here, the sentence is meaningless. So, it shows the relation between this noun and this noun. So, preposition. The usage of preposition is very, very important. Here, preposition plays a lot of roles. It is used to show the relation in various kinds. I'll let you know that. Right. See, prepositions show preposition shows various preposition shows various relations, various kinds of relations, various kinds of relations. Right? For example, fast one. Preposition of place. The preposition, the word preposition, which shows place in a sentence. Look at fast sentence. She fell among thorns. Fast sentence. She fell. Fall, fell, fallen. She fell among the or on the thorns. Sentence number two. She cut with a knife. Yeah, he was at. The foot of a tree. Third sentence. They were standing. Find the door. Once look at these three sentences. First sentence. See? She fell among the thorns or on the thorns. A problem. It's a position. Placement. He was at the foot of a tree. They were standing behind the door. See? In the first sentence, among or on, at. Behind these three positions show a placement of a noun or pronoun. See, she had placement on the thorns. He, his placement at the, of course, at the, at the foot of the tree, that means under the tree. And they were standing behind the doors. You see, they placement behind the doors. Here, these doors show a place. That's why. This kind of prepositions are called as prepositions of place. Number two, prepositions of time. Second one, prepositions of Time. He 
came at 6 p.m. yesterday. Number two. Number two. You must return. You must return before the sunset. Before the sunset. Number three. They stay for a month. They stay here for a year. Rhyming. They stay here for a year. One more sentence. Wait here till tomorrow. Look at these four sentences. In the first sentence, he came at 6 p.m. You must return before the sunset. They stayed here for a year. Wait till tomorrow. All these uh, words that are circled in these four sentences are prepositions of time because they show the time of action. See, he came at 6 p.m. It shows the time when he came, when did he come here. You must return before the sunset. You must be here before the sunset. I mean, that means you may be troubled. You may be troubled if you do not come before the sunset. That means here, the word before shows time. And they stayed here for a year. How long they stayed here? That means for a year. And wait till tomorrow. Until or till until until that means in Telugu well, tomorrow or like so this preposition show the time of action that's why they can be called as the prepositions of prepositions of time next third one prepositions of method or manner, method or manner, how an action happens, first sentence, first sentence, it came by post, number two, He cut with the knife. Third. They fought with touch. They fought with courage. Fourth, she succeeded. I mean, she was successful. She was success. She succeeded by hard work. Look at these three sentences, four sentences. He came by post. He cut his finger with a knife. They fought in the battle with courage. She succeeded in getting good marks or in getting a first rank by hard work. You see the words, 
that are that are kept in that are circle in these four sentences show how an action happens, the method or manner of action happens. If of course the post came by post, of course the letter or a Mariaga came by post. See in what way, in what manner, in what method it came. How did he cut his finger like? How did they fight in the battle with courage? How why did she and how did she uh, get success by hard work? So these these uh, this preposition show uh, the method and manner of an action. That's what they can be called as prepositions of method and manner. Next one, reason and purpose. Yeah, fourth one, reason and purpose. Reason and purpose. You can understand easily. Why it happened? There, is, there, there must be a reason for the action happens in the sentence. Or, of course, reason purpose, reasonable, I mean, look like same. We'll see some sentences. First sentence. She trembled with. She trembled with fear or with anger or with shivering, shiver or cold. Number two. He died of. He died of cancer. He died of hunger. He died of city be like. Third sentence. Exercise is exercise is good for health. Exercise is good for health. And one more sentence. We struggle for freedom. We Indians struggled more than over 200 years. We struggled for freedom or independence or liberty. You see in the past sentence, she trembled with fear, she trembled with anger, she trembled with cold, he died of cancer, he died of TB, he died of hunger. Exercise is good for health. And we struggle for freedom. All these words that are kept in our cycle, that are cycle shows the reason or the purpose of an action. So this kind of prepositions can be called as prepositions of reason and purpose. Or purpose. Like you see, she trembled with fear. How? And why? Why did she tremble? Why did she get trembled? See, how did she die? Because of cancer. Exercise is good for health. So what is the purpose of doing? What is, the, what is the purpose of doing exercise? Is it good for health? It's healthy, it makes us healthy. See, we struggle for freedom. Why did we struggle for freedom? This is a reason. Of course, we shows the purpose. So, this kind of prepositions can be called as prepositions of reason and purpose. And next one, and next the fifth one, position. Position means I told you already, P O S S E S S, -S I O N. Position means have. I have, I possess. I have a computer, I possess a computer. I have a house, I have two buildings, I possess two buildings. Possess means here have. 
Kali Hometown in Telugu language. We'll see some sentences. Delhi is the capital of India. First sentence. Delhi is the capital city of India or the capital of India. Enough. Delhi is the capital of India. Next sentence two. I saw a boy. I saw a boy with red hair or with red t-shirt like. He is a man of principles. He is a man of or I am a man of Theories, principles, doctrines, principles, P L E S, not P A L S. And he came by a lot of money, right? He came by a lot of money. A lot of wealth over money. Look at this three sentences, four sentences. First sentence, today is the capital of India. I saw a boy with red, red hair. He is a man of principles. He came by a lot of money. See, all these words which are cited in these four sentences show the position. So this one they can be called as prepositions of position. You see, Delhi is the capital of India. India has a capital city, Delhi of course. It has. The boy has red hair. You see, the boy has red hair. The man has great principles. He has a lot of money. So in, in a different sentence, we say, we can also say, you see, he had a lot of money. So, or we can say using this uh, preposition, he came by a lot of money. He's a man of principles. So, these are called as uh, prepositions of uh, position. Next, direction and motion. Next one. Sixth one. Prepositions of direction and motion. Movement. Your motion means movement. Sixth one, prepositions of direction and motion. Prepositions of direction and motion. See, this preposition show the direction or the movement. Motion means your movement. Look at these three sentences, four sentences. First one. Ravi fell into the well. Ravi fell into the well. Number two. He ran across the road. Across along. Third. She climbed up the tree. She climbed up the tree or she climbed up the stairs. She climbed up the stairs. Number four. The moon moves round the sun, of course. The planet moves. Right, the moon. The moon revolves or moves. 
revolves or moves around the sun, around the sun. Not around the sun, around the earth, around the earth. See, in the past days, Ravi fell into the well. He ran across the route along it. She climbed the tree or up the stairs. The moon moves around the sun, around the earth. The planets move around the sun. Right. You see here, you see, the word into shows the direction or the movement of the boy Ravi into the well. See, he ran across the road. Across means here. Imagine this is a road. Running across. From this side to this side. Ravi ran along the road means one side of the road. One side of the road. Running one side of the road. Across means here, like this, from this side to this side, another side. Along means here, by the side of the road, running or walking. She climbed up the tree, up. Afterwards. The moon moves around the sun, around, rotating around the sun. This is, this shows the direction or the motion. Of course, motion, movement. And this shows direction, this also direction. So these are some important uh, types of uh, preposition. We show different uh, relations, various kinds of relations. Some can be used to show the time, to show the place, to show the uh, direction and motion, to show the position, to show the reason, purpose, etc. Like right. So we'll see. Uh, we have so many. We have so many uses of prepositions. Prepositions can be used with different words. Uh, that means uh, they can be used with adjective, they can be used with nouns, pronouns, adverbs. See, I'll let you know with some examples. Right? Lot of uh, lot of lot of rules and equations to use. The correct use of preposition. Do you understand? See, preposition is a word that is used mostly before the noun or pronoun to show its relation with some other words. In the sentence, do you understand? You see, they can uh, they can be used between a noun and noun, noun and pronoun, or pronoun and noun. You see, vice versa, different kinds of so various relations. Just a minute, I'll let you. Right. See. So different prepositions used with the verb as heading. Various uses of prepositions. Various uses of prepositions with different words. With no need, no need. That's enough. See, different prepositions can be used with the verb. The verb die. See, die means, of course, channel order. We can use. Die of hunger can 
minus itself. T B by they cancel the one cancel with two chemical. B. Die for. See here, this is the preposition. Die for something or someone. Here, look at this word for. Okay, upper person, let that upper down person, chan board. And die at. Die at an early age. An early age. Or die at 32. This is the preposition at. I mean, at the age, at an early age, which I'm going to look at. Next. Die from. Die from fatigue. Die from fatigue. Fatigue means here uh, extreme tiredness. Fatigue means extreme or severe or more tiredness. T I R E tiredness. Exhausting. And that's about another. Next, yeah, die of, die at, die for, die from, die with another one, die with severe wounds, severe injuries, you see, wounds or injuries, die with severe injuries, you see. Yeah, with from uh, yeah, with from all these words. So this is the word. This word can be used with these different prepositions in different sense, in different meanings. Die with injuries or wounds. <laughs> Die from fatigue, extreme tiredness. Die at another age. Die for something or someone. Die of cancer. See, these are the ways in which we use die with different prepositions. Next one. Yeah. There are Latin comparatives in English. Second one. The Latin comparatives, Latin language, the Latin comparatives like, see, generally, and Telugu is different, English, different, English is different. The meaning in Telugu and English is almost all, there is a difference. See, the words like severe junior inferior superior what One more word. Prefer. It's it. See, look at these words. Senior, junior, inferior, superior, prefer. These are called as Latin comparatives, of course, adjectives. So, before these words, the correct preposition is. Not before these words, after these words. After
after these words, the suitable and correct. The suitable preposition is preposition is to. For example, look at this example. He is. He is severe to me, but in Telugu is different. Ante, what na kante severe? Ante yuta na kante. Actually, na kante na puru. We use the most common word than. We should not use. He is senior than me. That's wrong. Because. Why we shouldn't use them, and why we should use to? Because senior, junior, inferior, superior, prefer these are the Latin words. Before, of course, after Latin words, the correct and suitable preposition according to English rules and regulations is to. It is inferior to that. She is junior to me. I prefer to listen to songs in these songs. I prefer. Hindi songs to Telugu songs, like so. This is very important. And one more, third one. I'll tell you only important ones. Next one, third. The preposition on before dates and days also. Yeah, days also. On is the correct preposition before dates and days. For example, he came on Monday. On. He was born. On seventeenth October. See on here on before the word the day of course Monday Tuesday Wednesday like on can be used before the before the dates of twelfth October. Gandhi was born on second October like. 